we have? Come on. Oh, some more play. Ooh. That's just for sitting looking at Onyx. Sapphire's out of shot. Oh, there he is. Is he approaching? Is he just watching? What is Onyx going to do with the feathery toy? <gasps> Hello. Very, very sedate this morning. I'm playing. Just, well, you see my hand. Hi. Might be attacked. Hopefully with soft paws. Ah, we're distracted. Jasper is playing with the stick, I think. Part, the stick part. I guess there's a bell in there somewhere on the blue. <gasps> Sapphire has joined in. A brown paw has approached. Oh no, that's still Jasper's. It's interesting how Lola's like that too, quite brown through all the black. Three kittens can indeed be amused by the same toy and share. Safi's actually just watching. Watch it, not really at the right angle here, am I? Anyway. Oop! Look what they can do. Pick it up. Quite clever. <laughs> I'm only surprised because Lola doesn't tend to go that far. See, they have a lot of toys. We've got more in the same place. They don't use all of them. They like the lightweight and the softer and the blue plastic not so much they do they love the tunnel they haven't used it not that much in a while oh here we go see they put their whole foot in this track and push the ball back and forth i started filming because two of them were playing with it together but then they stopped oh we're just watching it again so this is perhaps a chill video rather than obviously the most exciting. I don't know if he's actually about to go through the tunnel. <gasps> Are we going to meet in the tunnel? It might be tricky. They're big enough, to, I mean small enough to still get in it, but they, don't know, they tend to go in from either end. Ah, oh, there's a dangly thing, little straps that can hold it together. They've actually pulled one off entirely. <gasps> big stretch. Look how fluffy his tail is. It's getting fluffier. It's sort of a medium length hair. Oh, wiggle. We're wiggling, see Jasper's little white bit. That's how we tell them apart. Oops. Oops. They do that sometimes and they don't really, like that's as far as they go. They don't really, sometimes they'll jump in midair, like in my other video, really going for it. Oh, there's a nice view from Onyx, just the butt view. This is how this thing, partly can, one way it can move from one end of the room to the other. Also, it can kind of bounce on its end. Your lovely tidy floor full of well only a few bits those newspaper puzzle pages tend to fall on the floor because the cats well actually anyone sitting on the armchair knocks them sometimes with their arm too but we pick them up again and they fall off again oh good cat we've got roof tiles on top of the carrier and a trap cage which we need to use more I'm trying to catch I've been not very well, so I hadn't put it out again. And it's been raining and freezing. All the best of reason to actually catch her. Anyway, excuses, but anyway. Kittens are playing with this again. I love how they just put their whole foot down it and push it, and then it will sit sometimes, it will come and stop at their paw. So they sometimes just try to get it out, which they can't really do. It's just a bit too big for them to pull it out. But it's a really lightweight, it's purposely coloured green and grey for their eyesight. Okay, Ooh, we're looking, we're looking. I might just... <gasps> oh, he's looking at my arm moving. The other one's down the other end of the room. So we're, we're off. I don't think my camera can quite see that far. It actually doesn't have the widest range on the iPhone. Oh, we're looking, we're looking. I think, am I right, is this, you know, I can't remember which one this is. I'm told if I see his face and pair tails, I think that's Sapphire, fluffier tail. He's got the more, sort of just very pretty little face. Jasper has a bit of an old man look. More bone structure and uh, wider eyes. 
it's very wide eyed, it's very sweet. Oh, and we're washing, okay. Maybe we'll leave it there. Bye. Once again, Mr. Sam playing with the ball in the track. I'm sitting the other way around now, so I can actually see and well, maybe see his face. See, push it round and round. I bought this actually a few years ago for Lola and she wasn't very interested, but she did she did look at it and she was she noticed the ball could move. That was about it. I've actually heard these guys playing with this for like I think about 20 minutes previously. A while ago now to be honest. They're a little bit calmer. Now they're a bit older, they've been neutered a few days ago. They bounced back through that very quickly. They were a bit tired, but didn't haven't really shown any other effects. Onyx was the one who'd been feeling some hormones, you know, by a few of his actions, and uh, that had calmed right down. Although it takes a while actually for hormones to fully leave their bodies. Sometimes they actually just sit in the middle of this and watch it, because they've played with it together as well. So one, one or even two might be putting their paw in, batting it back and forth, or taking over, you know, having a turn forcibly. They sort of share, and they sort of just go in and grab and take, like with food as well. You can see this orange fish toy on the floor, but difficult to tell what it is, but it's a goldfish on a stick from a very old Christmas stocking. We got previous cats by the company Whiskers Cat Food and they also have a green bug. They've lasted very well. Lola's been very rough with them. But they've got good little cords. They've got little, um, the bug has antennae with a little knot on the end and she's pulled that with her teeth and she's bitten the plastic of the handle. So it's a fishing rod toy. So they've lasted really well. But we have bought a lot of these just for these guys. The blue tunnel came with about 30 other toys and then there's some catnip toys in made of felt. We were also given a few little fish, which actually that's one of the catnips in the cactus. I can't see the other fish right now. Oh, that little green and yellow stripy one called stinky fish, very strong catnip, whereas the other felt ones are not that potent. And all the black cats like the catnips. On the very first day, Onyx played with it a lot as well, that little stripy fish. Ever since then, he's not been that bothered. Lola loves them, and so do the other two boys. Some cats like it, some don't. And it's funny also that Onyx is just generally more wild and into things. He's the one who's going to really grab your food and come and bash onto your lap and walk over your iPad or whatever. The others are that bit calmer. Hello! Oh, we're looking... <gasps> we're blessed with a face look. Hello! Jasper will come and ask for a little bit of a head scratch and then sometimes he just, and then I go to do it and he doesn't entirely seem to want it anymore. I thought he was miffed the other day because Onyx was on my lap but the other time I tried and he wasn't interested. Hello. Okay. Oh, there's my leg. Excuse me. Still in pyjamas. I've looked at him as doing this and I've talked for a little while about things we can't all entirely see so perhaps, perhaps I leave it there. Okay, round and round it goes. Boop. Bye. Oh, bye bye. Oh, on my. Oh, here I am. I'm being a tree. Oops, that's a little bit painful. Okay. 